We're continuing on day three. We're playing Invisible Ink on Expert Plus Plus difficulty with Central Monster Faust and Brimstone. We've just been to a vault and got lots of money. We're going to use that to upgrade speed on both agents, but then we're going to save this thousand, I think. Uh, it's not clear whether I want to go to the Nanofab or the Financial Suite. I guess we should go to the Nanofab because this one is four guarded. They're both five hours away. Uh, we can save this money to go into the Nanofab. Uh, is it worth upgrading anything else before we go in? Probably not. So let's just go. So because we're playing with the Contingency Plan DLC, uh, the end of day three is not the end of the campaign. Uh, that doesn't lead us to the final mission immediately. Uh, we'll have the uh, Contingency Plan special missions, and then we'll have two more days of the campaign. So we do have plenty more time to acquire other upgrades like incognito upgrades, uh, augments and so on. We've got three doors here, which is not ideal. Uh, there's no necessarily safe place here. It does make it less likely that someone will come through here. This is not necessarily a safe door to open. And we can't afford to hack this. I think the cam monster should be out of the camera's range here. So if I open this, I'm not expecting monster to get seen. That's an empty room, so that's good to know. Let's take a look through here. So that's all right. And I think we should just play it safe for now and hide. Let's leave Monster where he is. I think this should be safe enough. The so pulse drone here, moving back and forwards. Armored guard walks up this way. That's a locked door, so we don't need to worry about that direction or this direction now. Which is very good to know. That should be okay. Let's take a peek through this door. That looks relatively... Okay, that's our exit. This should be safe to end our turn in. On this kind of square. That saves us from the pulse drone, so let's do it that way. And let's move central up to here. And the turn there. It may be worth hacking this pulse drone to do some exploring. We haven't found any cameras worth hacking yet. Let's do it this way. That gives us the net downlink as well. So this is just a camera. That's good to know. So I don't need to go down here at all. And this will just be the guard elevator. Do we want to steal from this guy? But this is a lot of the map with just nothing in it of interest, which means we've got probably three more guards in a smaller area, which is not brilliant. That's a stationary guard here. We don't have much to do about that. We can ping him away. Which is probably not a bad idea. I'd like to steal from this guy. And we know he's going to walk up to around here, so this is a good place to leave central. And let's ping this guy onto this corner square, I think. It's gone to melee just in case. So this gives Central a chance to steal next turn. Hmm. I must just be jumping to me. So there's something in this corner that stopped him from moving any further in. Let's throw these doors.
I'm almost committed to going through this door this turn. Oh, that's just a, um... Just a console, so it's not going to be worth hacking that just to get to the console. Uh, shall we try this door? Did you see that? Okay. That's bad. I guess I should have peeked on that first, huh? So what options do I have here? Let's steal here now. Let's explore this door just to make sure we know what's in this room. Looks like nothing. So we don't have much to do here. What I may have to do is step onto here, shoot him, and then walk in. I don't like that. But I have no other option, I think. How many squares does this guy have? So let's say one and a half, three, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. So he does get out here. He does see this square, but not this one. That's no good either. Can't see him. I guess this square would have worked. That's annoying. Do I have a way of solving this without taking both of these guards out? So I can use the EMP to make a sound. If I do that here... Then this guard could be distracted, but this guy's still going to get out here. Let's see his path. One, two, three, four and a half, five and a half. Six and a half, seven and a half. Am I counting this right? One, two, three, four and a half, six, seven, eight. Yes, he does get out. This is the Neural Disruptor 3, so we can... We can zap him. This is not a good position to be in. So the option that avoids any of them being alerting alerted is if I shoot this guy uh, sorry if I no there is no option that avoids either of them being alerted so I can shoot this guy but then I wouldn't be able to zap this guard I can zap this guy and then shoot this guy when he's on overwatch I can also use um, the Neural Disruptor to take out one of these guards if Central can get in, but I don't think she can in time. Oh, 
Oh, if I would have been able to shoot this guard from this square, then this would have been fine. I guess I should have moved here and then been, been able to shoot him. Thing is, if I do this now, then this guard becomes alerted because this guard sees me. And I don't want that. So I have to do it this way. Move here, zap the guard, wait for this guy to come onto overwatch. That will also alert any other nearby guards if there are any. This might be just a case of let's look in this nano fab and get out. Depending on which one of these guards moves first. I could use the EMP to take out this guy's heart monitor and distract him onto this square. Then only have to go uh, shoot this guard when he becomes on overwatch. This guy would be alerted then, but he'd be facing this direction. There's a 50-50 chance that this guard is the one who moves second. I think we're just going to play this the sure way. So we, sh we take out this guy with the Neural Disruptor. Then we pin him on this square and then shoot this guy next turn. I think that's all we can do. Stop. So poor colors does nothing. Uh, we don't actually have to shoot this guy. I could just close the door. This guy's not alerted, so that's fine. Could just try and get out here. Or I can shoot the guy, take a look in the nano fab. Let's do this first, I think. That's fine. That's a demon database. Let's take these this camera at least. Shoot this guy. That gives us another demon. Modulates. What was that? <laughs> God here. <laughs> of course there was. Let's give him this pass card, I don't want it. What's the nanofab have for me? Torque injectors, that could be pretty good. Nothing else here that I want, but let's take the torque injectors, put that in my inventory. Now I could be a bit greedy here, or we could leave on this turn. And drag this guy to here for now. See, we haven't found any safes, and that gets us money, and money is good. Let's 
let's move up here. We can pin two guards like this. What was that? So we'll bring him through this door, go on to melee, get to steal from him that way, and then see what's happening after that. I think there was a guard here as well that we heard. our two pass cards. I'm not going to spend the AP to get this. We'll want to come back and pin this guy. This is a safe here. So I can plant the EMP, take out his heart monitor. I think we want to plant the EMP here, don't we? Because that means he won't be blocking the door and I can come back around and pin this guy next turn. So this should be reasonable. And then we probably won't try and get much further in than that. It must be jobbing, you know. This is 120 credits there. Uh, I can keep this guy interested here. I do want to pin this guy. He's out for another two turns, it says. Let's do it this way. So that's the actual nanofab. I can probably get away with getting to here. Can't afford to hack it, of course. We've got modulate for two more turns. If I wait around for two turns, then this guy's going to be awake. Let's take a look through this door as well. Should have used the EMP there, shouldn't I? <laughs> this might actually be manageable. I think what we're going to do is slowly drag these guards... No, we don't need. We don't. We're not able to drag these guards into cover anyway. Uh, when this, once this guy wakes up, we'll want to know what he's doing. If he comes through here, then we'll just have to sort of drop this. What I can do is like this. Sell the charge pack because I don't want this. Could get a shock trap too. Does deal with armor. Let's take a look at that on the way back. But selling that should be good because it means we have a bit of an easier time. Uh, or we might have a bit more money to buy from this 9 uh, The Modulate goes away in two turns. This is going to be back in seven turns. I'm not sure we want to wait around that long. This guy's now awake. He is going to be interested in that square. So I think we need to keep him away. It means pinging him.
Let's do it there. Now this guy doesn't have a heart monitor anymore. So we can take him out if we want to, but we don't need to just yet. Let's see what he's doing. He's going in, that's fine. This modulate is going to go away next turn. I guess we'll t look in the nanifab and then maybe wait around for the EMP on these. We might zap him on the way out to still. Plus one KO resistance, that's not good. Let's see what this Snanifab has for us. Biogenic Dart's pretty good. Cloaking Rig 3 is pretty good. We're probably not going to be able to afford both of them. And we need to decide before we... Um, close this window. We need to do the buying. I probably can't get back. Let's take the cloaking rig, I think. And it would be nice to be able to get this biogenic dart, but we're not going to be able to afford it. Uh, I guess we could if we get into these two safes, but that does require hacking this nanofab again because it's going to reboot. We're going to be fairly encumbered here. We can use the cloaking rig, so that does make it quite a bit easier to um, actually get out here. I guess we could sell this EMP. It's doing quite a lot of work for us, though. And if I sell it, then I can't get into these safes, so let's, let's leave it like that. I need that camera. We need to know what this guy's doing. It's going out there, that's fine. So at some point we're getting the second guard, and if they're up here, then that's going to be a big problem. He's going back up there, that's fine. Can we afford to wait five turns on the CMP? That is an open question. With the cloak, we should be okay. Modulates. That's fine. We might end up just being able to hack this. Because the modulate costs four turns and this is on four turns anyway, so... Paradox, that's nice. So I think what we're going to do here is lure these guards into this room a little bit. Oh, I can't run because I'm encumbered. And I can't ping either. Now I could just zap this guard. He doesn't have a heart monitor. That will mean that this guy's alerted unless I drag him his body in here, which is not too bad an idea, so let's do it this way. No heart monitor, so this shouldn't take a hit on the alarm level. We he's still got those, hasn't he? 
and this guy will walk back up there. Now, the crucial thing is what happens here. Does this guard spawn here or there? And there's only one way to find out. There. Okay. So, because this is a locked door here, it will take this guard quite a while to get round here, if he is even getting round there at all. Unfortunately, we have no way of knowing until he actually gets through this door. And at that point, we'll be able to use uh, Central to spy on him, but... Until then, we're not sure what's going on. Two turns left on the EMP here. One turn left on the Paradox. It's good to have this guy knocked out because it means he can't get all the way out here as well. That's another watchdog. This spot's okay to do the EMP on. This modulate's going away fairly soon as well. Looking around. So this guy must be imagining things. Has just reached his patrol point. It matters a lot what he's doing next. He's going in, so we're gonna ping him to this room here. That will keep him occupied for a bit longer. That hits both safes. We're gonna hack this. I think we want these, this camera as well, but we'll save the net downlink for another time, I think. I guess I should have hacked this later on as well, just in case we get demons from Faust. Let's do this. not going to see us there, so that's fine. And we do have this cloak to get us out if necessary. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. I'm probably not going to want to carry this guy all the way down to the nanofab. Let's hack this now. I could get to the nanofab this turn if I hack this. Seems reasonable. we don't want to do it that way. This guy will be here, won't he? So I could zap him. That means we get to steal from him. Hold on. You hear something? Should be good. He's only going to be out for one turn, so I have to pin him. And let's pass the turn there. Uh, what happened? So he's going to be interested in where he was uh, zapped. Let's do that. that at least means that this guy can be walking in and out of this room later. Uh, the guy who spawned on alarm level three can be walking in and out of this room without seeing these down guards. Right. 
Great. Biogenic darts. Worth it. And we can shoot this guy with a biogenic dart again, if necessary, or we just use the cloak to get past. So that's our guard patrol here. I can't run with Monster because of the, um, he's encumbered. So he, this guard hasn't quite got to the door yet, which is fine by me. I could hack one of these to get AP. Let's do this camera, I think. Okay for this turn. And now we are really heading out. That's all right. That should be fine. He's going to be interested in here. Let's unencumber monster. That should be fine. So we actually can get past this card next turn, I think. Of course we could just ping him this way again. Probably the simplest thing to do. Ah! That's not good. I should have gone on overwatch here with monster, shouldn't I? Let's use the biogenic dart here so we don't get the um demon from that. That's fine. Uh, he's, his heart monitor was gone anyway. Uh, swap guns again. If I hack something, then we can get out, so let's do that. Okay, 